I have two Instagram accounts, the old one with 410 followers and the new one, which just reached 100,000 followers. Let's talk about how you can grow on Instagram, why you should be on Instagram, and I owe you a giveaway of the keyboard, therefore I will announce the winner as well. I created my first Instagram account in 2011 and did as most of us do. I played around with different filters, took photos of my day-to-day -day life and vacation trips and shared pictures with my friends. If sharing pictures with your friends is why you are on Instagram, you don't need to keep watching this video. Keep doing what you are doing and enjoy the process. I created my second Instagram profile when I started freelancing and my goal was to connect with other developers and share my work to attract new freelance customers. It was doing the job. I got new online friends, even met a few of them offline and I got quite a few offers for freelance projects as well. I will not spend much time talking about why you need to be on social networks, I have all this video about that, maybe I will do another one, but that opens many opportunities. You can market your products, for example, those can be your freelance services or your own apps or your courses. Shameless plug, I have a course about building your own apps, building business out of that, link is in the description, check that out if you are interested. So, but how to grow and how to grow fast. First of all, choose your niche and what you will make content about. It kind of common sense, but I have to mention that. If your niche is programming, so stick around programming related topics, some setup photos, gear, everything related to programming will work. You may say, but Ivar, you are posting random shit on your page. There are plenty of travel photos or annoying stories about your running and what else not. Yes, you're right. That's true, but this content is more for fun and helps to create better contact with existing audience, but it does not help much for growing. So forget about that at least for beginning. All the content fits in three buckets. It is entertaining, it is inspirational or that is educational. For example, if you are learning programming or studying computer science, you can just document your learnings and that will be educational content, you can share your learnings, your findings, and that will bring value to your audience. Sure, you can easily mix education and inspiration, you can add entertainment to that, some programming memes, could work great, but before you create something, ask yourself what value this content brings to your audience and in which bucket it is going. Bringing value with your content to the audience is important. In today's age, everyone produces quality content. You don't need a fancy camera. Modern iPhone is enough to make great videos and pictures. So it's hard to stand out just relying on quality of content. You should create content that makes viewers bookmark and share it with others. Aim for content that stands out, is unique and makes users to want to save it, share it, Think about aesthetics, how it looks, inspirations, how it feels, and trends which could resonate with your audience. If you're just starting from zero and all that I just said doesn't make sense, <laughs> try to find five to ten creators that you like and copy what you like from their style. Next one point in my kind of list what to do is uh, maybe controversial. I think many of those who start kind of hopes on uh, viral growth to make video hit million views and as soon as possible, as quick as possible, get a lot of followers, but that's actually not a good thing. Jumping on trends can help you to grow, but you should understand your audience and bring real value to them. I saw plenty of channels growing from almost zero to 100k playing trendy music and you know, that thing pointing fingers to text and currently many of them struggling and losing followers instead of growing. Those who adapted to new trends and came up with original ideas, sure, they survived and keep growing. Those who are not growing anymore, they blame algorithm, but the truth is that audience do not like their content anymore or it is not trendy anymore and those creators are not connected with their audience, they just do not understand what audience wants from them. So every time when you talk about algorithm, replace algorithm with audience in your mind and your life will be easier. So steady, slow, but consistent grow is your goal.
Separate yourself from the crowd and bring something unique. Personalize content, integrate your voice and interests and establish an individual style. You should be recognizable. For example, if you will just make setup photos without showing you or even worse, just repost other creator content with setup photos or currently you can generate nice images using mid-journey and make carousels with uh, advice for programmers, but that content will not be unique and you will not stand out from the crowd. That could be your personality, that could be something, I don't know, something in your in, in your photos. For example, my laptop has dent in it and probably I need to dent all of my laptops from now because it's easily recognizable, you know. I think for me it is also kind of relatively easy if imagine if someone will say, oh, you know that guy on Instagram, uh, he's on YouTube as well, that one indie iOS developer. There are plenty of indie iOS developers around on the internet, which, which you are talking about. You know that one with that strange accent? He's wearing rings and he has tattoos. He's talking like a Russian gangster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That speaking from my heart guy. Uh, yeah, I know him very well. That's my that's my boy Ivers. <laughs> Something like that. I'm not saying that I don't know you have to how to get tattoos, even they are nice, but I don't know, just think how you can stand out from the crowd. Okay, but what content should you post? Post both reels and photos. There was a period when everyone posted just reels. Guess what? Photo posts work the same and sometimes even better. Both are effective growth tools for reels. Try to keep viewers attention with quick cuts, sound effects, trending music. For photos, consider the photo dump strategy to keep things engaging. So not just one photo, make multiple photos. If you have multiple photos on it, so basically user will have, will see it multiple times. When I'm traveling, I often do hamburger style posts, you know, when I have something programming related on beginning and at the end of the carousel and in the middle I have shots from my trips. Uh, I think that's kind of interesting because for those who are just looking only for programming and hardware, computer related stuff, there is still something related to that. And those with whom I have already kind of better, deeper connection who are interested how what I'm doing in those trips, they have a sneak peek in my kind of travel photos as well. To grow on Instagram, sorry to say, but consistency is the key. Aim for three to five posts in a week and add regular Instagram stories as well. A balance between quality and quantity is important. If you can post daily, that's great. I clearly see in my statistics that posting daily works the best. I rarely do that, but you can consider batch shooting content. Basically, you are making several pieces of content in one sitting and then you are using it all week long. So that's more efficient. I should do that, but that is not my kind of regular practice. Quality is important, but just between you and me, consistency and quantity is important more important than quality. Do not expect to grow if you will post once in a week. Yeah, if that will be best of the wall content and so on, but you never know which is best until you post. Sometimes challenging and well edited videos flop. I basically expect, oh, I put so much effort in this reel, that should be great. Nothing happens, but quick and recorded on phone on the go clip going viral. So, that happens as well. And the more your post, the better you will understand which uh, photo or video has potential and yeah, try experimenting. Build community and make friends. This is big one. I still reading and answering every DM and trying to answer all the comments. It is harder with comments on Instagram because if someone posts on week old posts, you don't have a good way to follow up. Commenting on other creators' posts will not help a lot for growing. That works better on Twitter, but that's story for another video. With comments, just be human being and just make friends with other creators and your followers. So we have talked about gear as well. Fancy camera is the last thing you need. First, invest in good light or just shoot close to the window to use daylight. Next upgrade is microphone. Sound quality is important, even more important than video quality. Then you can buy software for photo and video editing. If you feel that free tools already limiting you, so you have to invest in that. Camera and fancy lenses for it is the, on the bottom of the list. On beginning, camera will even slow you down with all the settings, so, and you should understand how to frame photos, how to use light, how to, how to edit videos, how to film videos to make them interesting. So, 
camera is for Sunday later. Okay, analytics. Pay attention to the best posting times based on your audience. That can boost post visibility. Also monitor uh, ratio for non-followers to followers viewing your posts. Content which reaches more non-followers is more effective to grow. You can try to look in analytics and try to understand which type of content works for what. So that will really help. Understand which posts are working and try to create similar content. And keep in mind, not everyone see each of your posts. Also, audience is changing all the time. So if you post something good six months ago and today you have nothing good to post, just repost already kind of used content. There are plenty of eyeballs who didn't see that post and Maybe someone who saw it will recognize it, but I don't know, I did that many times and no one ever said to me, oh, Ivor, you already posted this uh, video a year ago or six months ago, why you do that again? Never, no one never, so just do that. Content length and descriptions. So optimal video post is uh, either 5 to 11 seconds or 40 to 60 seconds. Do your own experiments, but that works the best for me. That's what I see from my statistics. Photo posts, carousels works better, but you can post one po photo as well. If you're putting any uh, call to action in descriptions, put that in the beginning of the caption. That's kind of obvious. And previously, I was writing very long captions. When I started, I basically used Instagram captions like a blog post and I was writing what I did during the day. But I'm not sure too many people kind of reading captions. Different approach is when you have short reel, those five to 11 seconds, and then you are saying, okay, how to get a job in programming, read the caption. And then, yeah, so that audience is going and reads that caption. If there is good information in the caption, they will keep reading, that reel will keep playing, and yeah, that will be kind of a good signal to the <laughs> algorithm that, yeah, this video is good, so we can push it to the more people. And yeah, if this caption is good and audience is reading it, yeah, that video will grow, that video will get the views. And yeah, what you should do when you will next time open Instagram or TikTok. So replace mindless scrolling with analyzing other creators' content. Every time when you stop scrolling on TikTok or Reels, pay attention why you started to watch that video. What was that hook that grabbed your attention? Was that editing or was that something that creators said? And try to think how you can reuse this in your content. If you are watching video and you are basically stop watching it and scrolling to the next video, make mental note, note for yourself to identify what was that why you didn't watch video till the end, what happened, and do not do that in your videos. Learn from other creators. Change your mindset when you open YouTube, or when you open TikTok, or when you open Reels. And do the same for photo posts as well. Save or screenshot posts that you like, try to recreate them, and use some ideas from them. Take a look what you like in editing, what you like in framing, in lighting. Also, try to use that in your in your photos. Okay, it is time for giveaway. Congrats, you are the winner of 200 bucks keyboard. Be sure that you have contact details in your profile on YouTube and I will DM you from my own Twitter or Instagram account, whatever is your contact details in YouTube profile. Don't be dumb, don't be scammed. If random account with my picture in avatar will ask you for personal data and will say that it is some giveaway account or what else not, that's bullshit, that's scam. Thank you, bye, don't forget to smash the like button and post your favorite emoji in comments. Bye! Oh my gosh, I ordered a new light because this one making me crazy!